Hello guys, welcome back to Good Cheryl Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix VRice is having crashing issue, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing and stuttering, low FPS drop, black screen and many more issues which is happening for the game right now and how we can fix this up so let's dive into this. So if you're for the first time, just follow the instructions and video and don't forget to subscribe. So let's move to the workaround. The first one is all about you have to start with a simple restart. For that we just need to go over here on this icon go to this icon over here go for a restart after restart is successfully done just try launching the game and that is going to work for you as well this is the first thing which you have to try out and move to the next one if after trying with the restart if the issue is still persisting we request you to move to the next step next step is all about we need to verify integrity of game file for that we just need to go over here on the v rising we have to right click and go to the properties now from here go to local file, click on verify integrity of game file. When you click on this, this particular step is actually one of the main steps. What happens is if any files are corrupted and if any files are having all these kind of missing issues, all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step and this is an important one. Sometimes maybe the files may be corrupted or files may be having an issue or it is missing which is causing the crashing and all these kind of issues which I mentioned in the first. So just try with verify integrity of game file that's going to work for you for sure. You have to try this out. So once as you can see, you will be getting the message like this. That is 41705 file successfully validated, which means you're good to go. So just close this and click on the play button and try to launch the game. This is going to work for you for sure. What else we'll move to the next step. Next step is all about we need to launch the game from the installation folder. Most probably we will be launching the game from the Steam like this. We need to launch the game from Steam. That might be causing the issue. If that is the case, we need to launch the game from the installation folder and we have two methods. One, we have a shortcut from here which we can navigate to the installation folder. Another one is we can use the file explorer which we can be done. So for file explorer, just click over here on this one and go to this PC. Now from here, go to local C. Now from here, go to program file x86. Keep scrolling down and navigate to Steam folder. Now from here, go to Steam apps. Now from here, go to common. Now from here we have to go to V Rising. Now from here just launch the application from here. This is what we have to do. So we need to know how to navigate to the installation folder down the road because this is an important step and you should be knowing this because down the road we have many steps where we need to know this. So just launch the game from here. Or else regarding the shortcut, just go over here in the game, right click over here, go to the properties go to local file and click on the browse that will be redirected to the C. If you look at the top, there is this PC, local C, program file x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, vRising. So just click on this one and open this and now launch the game that is going to work for you as well. So let's move to the step four. That is all about we need to run the game as an administrator so we can be done in the same way either depending on the file explorer or we can use this one. So I'll be using this one. Right click over here, go to the properties, then go to local file and click on the browse. That will take you to this now frame here. Select the application, which is the installation icon. So right click over here and go to the show more options, go to properties, compatibility. And over here, there is an option called run this program as an administrator. You have to check this, go for apply and go for OK and try to play the game. For many users, when they did this, this did work it. So you can try this out. If that is not working, we have to move to next step. That is an additional step. That is all about running the game in the compatibility mode did work it for many users and you can try this out. So I'll be showing you this. Just right click over here, go to the show more option, go to properties, go to compatibility. Now from here, if you check, there is an option called compatibility mode. Select this one, check this one and we have options like this. First go for Windows 7, go for apply and see whether the issue is solved or we have to go for Windows 8, go for apply and go for OK and see whether the issue is solved. If the issue is still persisting after running the game in the compatibility mode as well as parallelly running the game as an administrator, we have to move to the next step. But keep in mind, you have to uncheck this. Undo the compatibility mode step and only keep running this program as an administrator. Now go for apply and go for OK. Now go back to the game and try to launch it up. That's going to work for you for sure. Or else we'll move to the next step. That is all about we need to change or make sure the Windows language is being set into English, which is the default language. Some of users might be playing the game, maybe in any other native language like Chinese, Japanese or Arabic. So if that is the case, that might push the issue up. So just go over here in the search. Now from here, go to settings, go to time and language, go for language and region. 
over here you have to click on the add language so if you're on any other native language just search for english like this you have to search for english set the english united states once after that try launch the game keep in mind you have to select the country or region should be correct so i'm from india so i have to select india so your geography should be correct you should not be selecting any other native language uh, native countries and go back and over here in the date and time just parallelly make sure the time and time zone is correct so over here it is correct as you can see i have to turn this on make sure this is turned it on and make sure this is correct once after that just close this and go back and try to play the game Moving to the next one is all about. We need to launch the game using Alt and Tab. This didn't work for many users, in my knowledge. You can try this out. Just click on the play button. But keep in mind, when you're clicking on the play button, you have to press. The moment when you're clicking on the play button, just press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. This is an important step, and you should not be forgetting this. Just press Alt and Tab all together from the keyboard and click on the play button. That's going to work for you as well. Or else we'll move to the next step. Next one is all about. We need to go for delete the saved game files if it's already there. For that, just click on the file exported. Now from here we have to go to uh, documents. Now from here, if you find the folder named V Rising, you have to delete the respective folder. Keep in mind you'll be losing all the progressions, but that is fine. Just delete it, and once after that, just go back. Now try. If that is not the case, next step is. which is all about allow the game to windows security for that reason we have to go over here in the search go for control panel now go for windows defender firewall now from here go for allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now from here here we have to scroll down and navigate to we rising so over here if you find anything over here in the we rising keep scrolling down now over here you can see the we rising it's already added and the private and public is being enabled So once the private and public is enabled, we have to make sure this is done. Sometimes the game might be not be here, so we have to add it manually. For that, just click on Allow Another App. Go for Browse. Now go to this PC. Go to Local Disk C. Go to Program File x86. Keep scrolling down and navigate to Steam folder. Now go to Steam Apps. Go to Common. Now from here, we just need to go to V Rising. Now select this one and add it. So if I add this, I'll be getting the error because it's already added. So once it's already added, if it's not there, we can add it manually, which I shown you right now how to add it. Once after that, just close this, go back and try to play the game. Moving to the next one is all about. We need to unplug all the USB devices. So your USB ports might be completely filled up. You might be playing the game with the controllers. You might be connecting to. uh logitech wheels maybe for any other game or you will be connecting to the multiple monitors if that is the case just remove everything from the usb ports and once after that launch the game so if you wanted to play the game with the controller after the game is successfully launched it just connect back the controller and try to play the game that is going to work for you for sure moving to the next one is all about we need to perform a clean boot for that just go over here in the search go for system configuration go for services Now keep in mind you have to click on hide all microsoft services go for disable all go for apply and go for okay sometimes it might you ask you for a restart if restart is been asked you can go for a restart once that open the steam once again see whether the issue is solved or we'll move to next one that is all about we need to disable the steam overlay for that just click over here in the game go to the properties Now over here, as you can see, this should be un this should be unchecked, which means it is disabled. Now click on the play button and see whether the issue is solved. Or we can go over here in the launch option, which is the next step. Give commands in the launch option. So commands are D X eleven. The first command is give the command D X eleven and try to play the game. If D X eleven is not working, give the command D X twelve and try to play the game. So if D X eleven is not working, go with D X twelve. If both the games are not working. we have to move to the next step so next step is all about we need to close unnecessary tasks which is running in the background which is causing the crashing issue for that just click over here in this one and go to the task manager over here now from here as you can see there are around 77 apps which is running in the background which all these kind of apps are causing the issue so if that is the case we need to remove it from here So there are two reasons. One is overlay applications, another one is overclocking application, which is causing the issue. So if you scroll down, you can see Discord is one of the main reason, and Discord comes under the category of overlay applications. And if you find the Discord over here, right-click and go for end the task, 
and that will be removed. And if you go at the top and if you find any applications named River Tuner, MSI, Afterburn, etc., which comes under the category of overclocking application, you have to remove it as well. Once after that, just remove it and close this and go back and see whether the issue is solved or we'll move to the next step. That is all about we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. For that, just go over here in the search, go for graphics settings. Now from here, we need to add the game. Here, as you can see, I have already added all the games. So just click on the browse. Now from here, go to this PC, go to local disk C, keep scrolling down and navigate to program file x86, keep scrolling down and navigate to Steam folder, now go to Steam Apps. Now go to over here Common. Now from here go to V Rising. Now select this one and add it. So once you add V Rising over here, you'll be able to add V Rising. And if you find the V Rising, just click on this one. Click on the option and make sure by default this would be Let Windows Decide. Change this one to High Performance and go for Save. Once you go for this one, go back and try to play the game. And that is going to work for you as well. Going to the next one is all about we need to try with the next one that is all about we need to increase virtual memory for that we just need to go over here in the search go for view advanced system settings now from here go to advanced go for settings go to advanced now go for change make sure this is unchecked this is blank if you select this one you will not be able to select the local disk so keep this blank and select the local disk where the game is installed now go for custom size Give the value initial size as well as maximum size. Initial size is 1.5 times the total RAM and maximum size is 3 times the total RAM. So for that we need to do a calculation. So you have to first type your RAM. So in my case the RAM is 32 GB. I have to multiply it with 1024 that is a constant value. Just multiply your RAM with 1024 and now multiply it with 1.5 times because 1.5 times is the total RAM. I mean that is the initial size. We have to go for the maximum size that is multiply your RAM with a constant value 1024 which brings you this and multiply it with 3. That brings you 90,304 so just copy this as well as paste it and once after that go for it and once you're done with this one try launch the game and that is going to work for you as well. Going to the next one is all about we need to update the windows for that just go over here in the search go for settings go over here in windows update make sure the windows update is up to date and that is an important step so you have to try with this once after that just close everything go back and try to play the game next one we need to update the graphics card so i'll be providing a link in the description to both nvidia as well as both the amd so if you're on the nvidia just go over here so you have to select everything like product product cds product operating system etc so you have to select the cds over here and once you select every details and now go for start search which will give you the latest released outdated drivers over here if you scroll down 531.79 which is released on may 2 2023 so you just have to download this one install this one on your pc do a restart which is a mandatory one then try launch the game if you're on the amd just click on this page select every details from here go for submit now from here we'll be getting the option if you're on windows 11 go for this one if you're on windows 10 go for this one install it on a pc restart is a mandatory and try to play the game last and the least one is all about we need to install microsoft visual c plus plus this did work out for many users so i'll be providing a link in the description so just download x64 based.exe install this on a pc and restart is a mandatory one to bring up the changes and once after that try launch the game even after trying all these things and still having the issue, the last and the least one is all about we have to uninstall the game and we have to reinstall it back. For that, just click over here, go for manage, uninstall the game. Once you uninstall the game, you have to reinstall it back. But keep in mind, you have to, you should be changing the position of local disk. So I'm having only one local disk, which is of one DB. So that is fine for me. But if you're having multiple disks and you uninstall the game from C, Try install it back on D or any other drive and that is going to work for you. So these are the possible workarounds that you have to try out when you're having an issue with V Rising. And I hope this video is helpful. Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon in the next video.